So we're now entering the communion shop Jess Fagan. But the man I'm now meeting is not Jess Fagan, but Leonard Fagan. The son. Yeah. Because I understood this is a family business you yeah. run here yeah. already since 1971. 71, yeah. Okay. And what you do of course is making communion suits for boys. We specialize in making communion suits for boys, yeah, for the last 30, 35, 40 years now. And you have uh, made uh, suits for thousands, thousands of boys. Thousands of boys over the years, eh? Oh. That's what you said. Yeah. So the age of these boys is on average like? It used to be seven years of age. But the last ten years they've kind of gone to eight and nine year olds. Getting bigger. Exactly. So um, when a boy is just uh, uh, heading towards his communion, then he comes with his parents. Yeah, he comes in with the parents. They see something they like, they try it on. We measure them up then and make them their own suit. Yeah, so the first thing is then they choose with the parents, of course, the fabric, the style and the color. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Pick something out they like and try it on or try on a few different ones and see which one suits them and then you go from there. So uh, the style, you explained to me, you have basically two different kinds of styles. Uh, it's called the Mandarin. Style. Well, that's a Mandarin color there and it was a stand-up color, as you see, you know. And that's a very, very popular one. And it's traditional, traditional color there, sometimes you just put a different colour on to match it in, it's matching with the trousers and different things, different buttons of course. And it's called Mandarin because it's a little bit like Chinese, eh? maybe. Well, yeah, because, was, uh, people, a lot of people would call it the Beatle colour from the Beatles used to wear them, but uh, I suppose Mandarin would be the, yeah. the proper So, one. and then you have, uh, this is the style, then you have of course the fabric, well you can choose. Yeah, you can choose your own fabric. fabrics, I mean you have books to pick from there if you haven't got something in the shop to suit you. Linen, linen wool. Linings, pattern books, yeah, different buttons. Exactly, so then you measure the boys, that's the second the step. Yeah, yeah. And then you have the suit being really made, and that, that that's yeah, happens. Yeah, I put the, the suits are the suit. That sorry, happens here behind. Just look in the camera, sure. Just look on Facebook. Then we make them, everything is, everything is cut and made here in the shop. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So, um, Leonard, I have to say. Yeah. Um, so, what's the, 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 the average price when uh, the, for the whole package for a communion? Uh, uh, the average price for a spouse for full outfit, that'd be a three piece suit, short tie, and your hanky and rose that would be average from 375 to about 445. Okay, and with three yeah. piece, you mean, of course, the trousers, a jacket, and a waistcoat? A waistcoat yeah. yeah, exactly. Then you have the shirt, yeah, and yeah. also. You could claim me the rosetta. This is kind of important. Well, these are little, these are little rosettes, yeah. So can you, know, you explain you, why these are on the on well, the jackets? It's just a traditional thing, you know. So when the people come back in, they pick out the rosetta. They pick out the different colours they like. They come back in and bring in their medal, and we sew it on there for them. So we kind of do everything. Then, like all you need to. So the medal, that's a communion medal. They, yeah, they, little, they, little they communion medal just hangs here now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. So about uh, yeah, there's of course a huge uh, <laughs> amount of, choi of, cho of choice. Of yeah, uh, choice, yeah. There, there yeah. You you, t you said that you have like 120 different samples. Yeah. So is it sometimes difficult for a boy and the parents to agree on uh, what uh, to buy? It can be. Yeah, cause we do, we do, <laughs> there is a big lot of stuff to pick from. So, but I think most people come in have a fair idea where they're gonna go. Yeah, okay, well, then you also explained to me that um, uh, um, next to the um, communion uh, business, you also do something for, yeah, yeah what's this? Yeah, we to do a bit of Irish dance and stuff, we've been a bit of demand for that now the last couple of years, so it's just basically make up waistcoats, get them embroidered, different colour ties and shorts and slacks, mostly black trousers you wear now, of course, but uh, that's just something, a little sample we're making up there. For dancing, dancing for Irish events. Dancing, yeah, yeah Irish kind of, dancing, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's popular enough, yeah. Very nice. And then uh, the last thing you mentioned, this is uh, was really puzzling to me. Oh, yeah, that yeah, has yeah, to do with uh, this very little. Tell me about this one. Well, we started to get requests from people that make up uh, <coughs> christening suits. You know, this is a one, this is for like a one-year-old, one-and-a-half-year-old. One You're talking old. about suits for six-year-old, yeah. still one-year-old, six-month-old, six, six six yeah. babies, babies for yeah. their baptization. You, you yeah. call it Christianization. Yeah, baptism, yeah. Baptism. So then they, 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 they put these little babies into these uh, uh, suits. Yeah, for the day, yeah. For the day. This is very funny. Yeah. Okay, uh, Leonard. So this is... Uh, then what you had to tell about the business. Thank you very much for having yeah. your job, yeah, Chukami, welcome, yeah. and I hope you have very good business. Uh, well, you have it already since 1971, yeah, so uh, there will be a lot of surprises for you, I think. Well, we're doing something right, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, okay.